Okay. <laughs> Peace and blessings, my people. It's Anna Renee, your love power goddess, and I'm here with you once again, coming with this video for the Met to Netter. <laughs> it's been a minute, I know, but I have been chillaxing, my people. <laughs> chillaxing and loving it, I have to admit it, you know, not being bound by having to make videos it's the truth I'm just going to be honest and real about it <laughs> it is work to create the videos and uh, I just fell out of love with being so overworked creating these videos <laughs> although I love doing them uh, I needed a vacation and so I took one and even though I had kept saying that I'll be back and I I know I've been, you know, not being up on it, blah -de -da -de -da, blah -de blah -de blah uh, I actually enjoy not having to be uh, beholden to creating the videos. But I say all of that to say I'm back now. Thank you all for those who are still here waiting for the Metu Netter readings. Yes, here I am with the next one in the procession which is Herukuti that's a very very important one for us I did Heru and then before that Het Heru the goddess of beauty and Heru is the hero the superhero of our subconscious and conscious minds <laughs> in our ancient comedic tradition and so now I am doing Herukuti now let me get this so that you can actually see Herukuti my lighting is so bright Ugh. one of these days I'm gonna get this lighting on point which is sphere five on the tree of life he is our protector he is our avenger Herukuti okay is the true police <laughs> of the spirit realm for us takes care of business when people go against us they get their comeuppance okay <laughs> they get their just desserts for doing the wrong thing he works through the laws the universal laws of reaping and sowing okay that's how he kicks ass yeah I said it just like that okay you reap what you sow okay you do dirt you get dirt done back onto you <laughs> that's how God has made it so that we are always protected okay so my people yes all right thank god i'm back and yes i cut my hair <laughs> i cut the lock uh, you know what they had gotten just too long for me to uh want to deal with them <laughs> i had done a video a video previously that i wanted to uh downsize right <laughs> and become uh a minimalist where I, I cut my hair so I minimalize my hair <laughs> and I actually love it so yes my people thank you all for joining me once again here at the you are leaders channel and the reason you are here of course is because you are a leader you didn't fall onto this channel out of just happenstance okay especially the way uh, YouTube has got this algorithm set up so that people who had been collecting lots of likes, lots of uh, views I should say, have seen a, a straight cut in their viewership. <laughs> it has nothing to do with anything except the way uh, YouTube is hooking things up behind the scenes. So for that reason, if you happen to find this little channel, <laughs> it's because you were meant to. You are a leader. Maybe you lead 
tens, maybe you lead hundreds, maybe you lead thousands or even millions, okay? But the most important one to lead, which is what I always say, the most important to be leader of is to be leader of one, your own self, okay? There are lots of entities. Yes, I'm going to say it again. Lots of entities out there who are more than willing to lead you straight into the abyss. Okay? Straight to hell, pretty much. <laughs> Without even giving you a handbasket in which to travel there. <laughs> okay? They will lead you straight and they will take your money first. Okay? <laughs> they will take all your coinage, <laughs> your ducats, your cheddar, your lettuce. Okay? your dinero then they will lead you straight to hell <laughs> so yes my people I'm back <sighs> we'll see how this goes <laughs> and I'm reading once again the god Herukuti okay so I'm working from the book the Metu Netter let's see if I can get this so that you can actually see it volume 1 still on volume 1 the great oracle of Tahuti. You can't see that because the light is so... Let's see. Let's do it the way those girls do it. <laughs> the great oracle of Tahuti of the Egyptian system of spiritual cultivation. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh my goodness. And so I have a spread of the cards. I hope that you can see them. Most of them at least. Starting from Amen, Asar, Tehuti, Seker, Ma'at, then we have Herukuti, Heru, Het Heru, Sebek, Aset, Geb, Dark Deceased, what is this, Sheps, uh, Nekhebet, Wachet, or maybe Wachet, Nekhebet. Can't remember right now one or the other, which is the the serpent traversing the solar disk, which is a very powerful uh, spiritual manifestation. So yes, my people, thank you all once again for coming to coming to the You Are Leaders channel, and we are going to continue on with. Um, Reading from the Metuneter concerning Herukuti. Okay. Right now, I'm reading from chapter 17 of volume 1 of the Metuneter, the deities of the Metuneter. And I've already read up until, well, I've read starting from the bottom going up, Geb being sphere 10 on the tree of life and then offset 9 sebek 8 her het heru 7 heru 6 and now we're at heru kuti number 5 uh on the tree of life okay and the thing about heru kuti let me see if i can get this to act right <laughs> trying to cut down on the glare. You see in the upper left hand corner or right hand you see that it corresponds to Mars, right? Astrological oh my goodness. Mars. You see that Mars symbolization right up there, the symbology. The arrow. So it's ruled by Mars, so it's got that, that energy, right? And then you see he's got a spear, a spear in one hand and some other kind of knife type thing. <laughs> Looks like I would say a machete, but it's not a machete. It's a different shape than a machete. But some kind of sharp instrument in the other hand, right? He looks like he's getting ready to throw down and somebody's going to end up getting hurt in the end. <laughs> so he is the protector, warrior. And he's got the Mars energy in which to help him along in that. Okay, so we're reading from chapter 17, the deities of the Metuneter. And I've just stated the ones that I've already read. So you want to check out 
those videos that I did in the past. This has become a quite an, a long journey. Let me just say it's been a journey. Reading these and so let's continue with that journey. Okay, Herukuti also called Heru Behutet is the divine principle that safeguards our existence from the injustices of others. It works sternly through the law that states that you reap what you sow. Be consistent in being just with others and you will be spiritually protected by this divine power. Its aggressive power is also the foundation of the temperament of natural athletes, warriors, business executives, and so on. In the comedic tradition, it is the form in which Heru fights against Set in order to regain the throne, which is control over one's life, okay, that the latter usurped. The seeming contradiction that arises from considering Heru Behutet or Heru Kuti, a form of Heru, is cleared up when we realize that ultimately there is only one deity in the world with different faculties. While Heru corresponds to the steady supply of nor adrenaline that enables us to carry out all activities of externalization, Heru Kuti or Heru Behutet corresponds to the extreme surges of adrenaline that support our aggressive sexual arousal and immune responses. So that's that power energy ruled by uh, Mars as I just showed you that helps us to surge, helps us to move forward quickly, to do things quickly, to fight. Maybe it's that fight or flight aspect of our spirits of our physical bodies as well. So it's also as above so below. So in the spirit realm, okay, when laws are broken, okay, because as we know we are divine beings, we are gods, and we have the ability to make decisions. We have what we call free will. We can decide to do or not do a thing. We can decide to break a spiritual law or not break a spiritual law, to follow the spiritual law. But in making the decision, because if we did not have the ability to make those kinds of decisions, even though if you make the wrong decision, you're going to get it. <laughs> if we didn't have that ability, then we would not be able to call ourselves gods. We would not be gods. We would not be the image of God. We would not have the power of God except on a much smaller level, a, a much smaller level, which is what we've been told, okay. We have that infinite ability, but at a much lesser level than the true Most High God, okay. So with that being the case, we can go ahead and choose to uh, smoke cigarettes, but then with breaking that law, okay, you reap what you sow, you're going to have a lungs filled with smoke, which is very detrimental to your health, okay? You can do any kind of thing, okay? You can jump off a roof <laughs> of a 10-story building, but then the law of gravity is going to kick in pretty much and you just might kill yourself, okay? You had to free will to choose to do that, to break that law, to see, you know, I I think I'm a god, so therefore let me fly, I'm going to fly off this roof, okay, and see what happens. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, my people, right? We have infinite abilities, but up to a certain point. <laughs> Don't ask me, okay, that's the paradox. The Most High has filled us and filled the world, the universe, full of paradoxes paradoxi, however you <laughs> pluralize that word. And uh, there are things we can know and then there are certain things because we are not God 
the most high God, but we are God, lesser gods, there are certain things we just, we don't know, we just can't know. But anyway, Herukuti is that aspect of the spirit that gives us that push to do something, to uh, that extra energy in order to accomplish a certain thing, you know. Even in the body, if you get sick, the body will send forth white corpuscles or whatever you call that stuff <laughs> that go within the system to attack whatever the virus or whatever the bug is surround it and uh, encapsulate it so that it can then devour it and when that happens maybe what you're going to feel is a fever you're going to get hot okay you might you might get tired you might become sick you might lose your appetite those are not bad things those are good things to tell you your body's at work and it's taking forth a huge amount of energy to attack whatever the bug is that's within your system and so for you the best thing to do is sit down relax you're gonna lose your appetite that's a good thing the body doesn't have the energy to digest food while it's in fact fighting against some kind of a bug it's gonna do its job it's gonna fight the bug encapsulate that thing devour it get rid of it and then you will get better and your your strength will come back you will get hungry again and then you will know that you have just uh, done something to get rid of the bug. A lot of times what we do is when we see our body having certain kinds of effects like for example you start sneezing. Oh my god! St stop sneezing! Stop! We gotta make the sneezing stop! No, you want to continue to sneeze. The sneezing is something to release something that's attacked. For example, maybe you're allergic to pollen. So your body offs into a sneezing fit to get rid of the, the pollen, okay? That has lodged itself in your nostrils or whatever. Or you might start coughing or your eyes might start watering, which all have happened to me during different as during different points in time in the year based on the fact that I'm allergic to just about everything. <laughs> That's all right though. So my eyes water. I start sneezing. I start coughing. My throat itches. Different kinds of things. These are all good things. A lot of people want to suppress coughs. Okay. Stop sneezes. Okay. Stop itching eyes. Stop watering eyes. No, you don't want to stop those things. That although of course they're they're irritating, you know, they, they bother you because you're in a rush to move forward and do your thing. You don't have time to have watery eyes, itchy throat, and you don't have this kind of time to be wasting on these kinds of things. <laughs> these are things that the body and its intelligence knows what it's doing. The thing about it is that we, we forget that the body has an intelligence, okay? The body is the temple of the Most High God. So there's got to be intelligence in it. The heart is beating without us having to uh, really even think about it. There has to be an intelligence in it. And that intelligence goes beyond just the fact that the heart beats. The heart and uh, the body, I should say, knows how to protect itself from invaders up until a certain point. If it's too strong, then yeah. Okay. But up until a certain point the body knows how to maintain homeostasis all right so my people let me continue here <laughs> oh my goodness a lesson in uh, anatomy and physiology huh I did take that class a while ago when I thought I was going to become a nurse okay so here we are going to talk about the fundamental principles of the metunet of the metutu. Okay, so Herukuti, where there is freedom of choice in an intrinsically law and order based situation, which is the fundamental nature of the world, there is bound to be transgression. That is of course true, right? Whatever the any place there's any kind of law there's got to be somebody who's out there ready to break that law <laughs> on the spiritual and on the natural level 
the offensive power of God, but you you may not want to box God, okay, because your arms are definitely too short. <laughs> Reaping and soul will kick in and kick your butt, okay? Anyway. The offensive power of God thus exists for the sake of protecting the equilibrium between the interests of the whole versus those of the individual. If in the exercise of our freedom to choose we avoid obstructing others, the offensive power of God will remove all obstructions from others from our path. It is directly opposed by the seventh sphere, which is Het Heru, receptivity to the instincts of self-preservation originating in the tenth sphere. Now, what was I about to say? Um, it'll come to me later. Alright, my people. So, yes, that's the aspect of Heru Kuti. Okay. And so, let's read here a little bit more detailed, okay? The spiritual aspect. An enlightened will, Heru positive, knows that the true purpose of the offensive power of the Supreme Being is not to punish the offenders of the laws of heaven, but to protect those who uphold it. See, that is a very important aspect for us to understand, especially those who feel that they have been uh, stepped on in the scheme of things, okay? The victim of circumstances, the victim of other wicked people, just being a victim, period, okay? God has got our backs whether we understand that or not, okay, in the long run, okay, in the very long run, man, it would be something for me to sit here and try to break that down from my own perspective, from what I understand, okay. I'm not sitting here acting as though I know all that there is to know about life, <laughs> even from the perspective of the Metu Netter, which I have been reading on and off for the past 20 plus years. But, let me use the example of slavery. Should I try to do this? Okay. Okay, we understand slavery was very brutal. Very brutal. Very brutal system, okay. And that the people who did it, the people who partook in enslaving others were brutal beasts in order to do it. You have to be a brutal kind of a beast in order to put forth that kind of a brutality on anybody else. That is part of the way it is in the spirit. You know, you can't be a good godly person in the true sense of the word. <laughs> and do brutal things to other people you can't you might think you are you might even convince others that you are and that you are superior you might be able to convince somebody that they are inferior and that you are superior because you have manifest destiny and you have uh, an ability to run roughshod over somebody over the rights of somebody over the human rights okay I'm not talking about civil rights I'm talking about human rights the human rights of somebody you might think that you got it so that you can do this and that God has no say so in the matter God can't do nothing about your uh, wanton uh, recklessness with the lives of others you might think you got God on the ropes okay rope a dope with God you might think that <laughs> but what you are actually is super deluded okay if you think you got God on the ropes okay first of all your arms ain't long enough to box with God <laughs> you ain't got God on the ropes you got yourself on your on the ropes okay <laughs> if you are an abuser of any kind spiritually mentally physically okay 
anybody who's abusing anybody else, okay, has got themselves on the rope. They are deluded, okay. And if what they are doing is for money, you know, my people, I, I, I might need to see a shrink when it comes to money. I got some really serious issues. In fact, I don't need to see a shrink. I need to uh, contact my higher self and, you know, sit down and have a talk with God within. <laughs> I haven't done that yet. I've been doing all kinds of other, other things. <laughs> In other words, Heru Kuti to the rescue, okay? God has placed this thing, you reap what you sow, in effect. Okay, so you may think that you are an enslaver, but you enslave your higher self, okay? If you are enslaving somebody else, you can only enslave somebody if you stay on the level of enslavement. So the more brutal you are as an enslaver, the lower you are, okay? The, the more you got your foot on somebody, on somebody's neck, then that means that you're right there with them in the dirt, okay? If you got them in the dirt, then you're in the dirt yourself. Which means then that your higher self cannot manifest, okay? Which means then that you are depraved, okay? Just as much as you think that you have depraved the person that you are breaking down, okay? And on the flip side of that thing is, okay, the person who may physically be depraved, okay, enslaved, or any of that kind of thing, mentally, if it is in their mind to do it, okay, if it is in their spirit to do it, they can rise like a phoenix and be way, 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 way high above in the spirit realm, in, in the, uh, what do you call it, the Akashic realm, okay, in the fifth body realm, uh, on the etheric realm, okay, flying far above the situation at hand because they have a detached from they detach their spirit from the situation Nelson Mandela okay my diva okay our ancestor Nelson Mandela is a perfect example of that okay you have to be on a certain kind of level though okay you have to detach yourself away from the understanding of these people who are the enslavers if you believe in what they believe then you are enslaved definitely if you believe that what they are doing is enslavement per se okay and that you are the victim of it and you can't do nothing about it you can't transcend it spiritually speaking until even you get to the place mentally I mean yeah mentally and physically well then you are a slave okay you're only a slave if you believe yourself to be a slave okay if you don't believe yourself to be a slave then you're not a slave okay see how God works <laughs> it's in the spirit realm that the uh, the transcendence happens okay and once it happens in the spirit realm then pretty much the law of attraction is going to bring it forth in the material realm while the person who thinks that they are the enslaver and they're they usually do it for this thing called money, okay, that they have created, which is not the true value, okay, it's not the true wealth, okay. They are the ones that end up being the true slaves, okay, of their greed, of their wealth, the money. They don't have any true wealth, which is people, okay, which is relationships, which is nature. They don't have true wealth of that sort because, see, they don't believe in it, okay? So if they don't believe in the true wealth of God, and if they only believe in their own wealth, which is money, then really, what, what are we looking at here, okay? And even the people who are not enslavers, blah, 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 but who have struggled to get money and have made their money, have made their wealth in terms of money, even they come to find out, well, you know what, at a certain point, I have so much money, what's the point now? <laughs> what I really want is relationships with people. What I really want is friendships, peace of mind. What I really want is to give forth happiness. So what do they do? They give away their money. <laughs> the most wicked of them too sometimes create, uh, what do you call those things, foundations 
so that they can give away money to the very people they stole from, stole wealth from. God is a beast up in this joint. <laughs> I love God. I love God. The most high God is in control. This whole thing belongs to God. Him, her, it. And I am a cog in the wheel and I'm very thankful for that. <laughs> Alright my people, so let's continue reading here. Okay. Alright, Herukuti. An enlightened will, Heru Positive, knows that the true purpose of the offensive power of the Supreme Being is not to punish the offenders of the laws of heaven, but to protect those who uphold it. Okay? You have to look at that differently. Alright? It's for our protection, not for their punishment. They're going to get punished, but it's for our protection. Okay? <laughs> Alright. It secures its objectives against the obstruction by others by treating them according to my aunt which is the next card that I'm going to read my aunt is the next one okay so the mundane when parts and phases are seen from the perspective of the whole we are able to see their complementary relationship when they are viewed on the specific level we can see only their antagonistic relationship for example the watery anabolic and fiery catabolic phases of an event are cooperative when seen from the holistic perspective and antagonistic. They check and destroy each other when seen on their level. Herukuti is, therefore, the ability to understand the qualities that separate parts of a whole. Analysis, analogical, lysis, however integral they are to the latter. It is achieved through the perception of the abstract qualities of things. It enables you to maintain your individuality or the individuality of a set by realizing that although all things are parts of a whole, they have been individuated for the purpose of carrying out a specific set of functions. Alright my people, and now let's read right here. An unenlightened, okay, the negative side. An unenlightened individual, Heru negative, is ignorant of the fact that by being fair to others, even at the cost of personal harm and loss, will secure divine protection. Let me let me read that again. Heru negative an unenlightened individual a negative heru a heru negative is ignorant of the fact that being fair to others even at a cost of personal loss and harm will secure divine protection in other words some people they don't some people don't understand that in or if you are in some kind of a situation and if you are willing to take a loss in the situation, okay, you don't understand if you're Heru negative that if you go ahead and take that loss, okay, that you are going to become divinely protected in the end. So you'll get what you'll get a higher level. You'll get another another door will open. That's that saying. If one door is closed, another one will open for you that will be even greater. Some people will refuse to take a loss. You know, they'll uh, cheat somebody in order to not take this thing a loss. Because they, do, they don't understand that they will be divinely protected. They don't understand that kind of aspect. Okay, You hear about this kind of thing all the time. Somebody whatever kind of loss most likely a uh, uh, financial loss okay someone gave up something to somebody else okay anyway my people got you guys know what I mean right I think you do if you are willing to take a loss for a higher principle then the doors of heaven will open up unto you you will get divine protection 
You will get divinely recompensed, okay? You will get something coming back on the other side, okay? There are those people who fear that if they don't give up anything, then they won't get anything. They don't understand this concept. They don't understand this spiritual concept. So they become greedy. They don't they are unwilling to let go of anything, okay? They they are afraid of loss because see they don't trust God's divine giving okay they don't believe in the windows of heaven opening up unto them they don't understand these kinds of things they only see things from the 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 mundane level of things okay so if 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 some kind of contest were if it was some kind of give and take then they're gonna always be taken okay they're gonna steal whatever they think they think they can steal okay they're gonna grub they're gonna grab and that kind of thing because they don't believe Okay, they don't trust, in other words, okay. Believe, okay, that there is infinite abundance in, in this world, okay. And stuff is not always the thing that you ought to be trying to get anyway. Okay, an unenlightened individual, Heru Negative, is ignorant of the fact that by being fair to others, even at a cost of per sin, that's the point, being fair. Some people are unfair, okay, because they are, they are uh, greedy and they are distrusting most likely. They don't believe that there's enough. They don't believe in infinite supply, okay. They have a poverty consciousness, in other words. So, if it comes down to being fair and unfair, they're going to be unfair, okay, if, it, if they believe it's going to be for their good. So they'll cheat you. In other words, they're cheaters. Okay. Alright. Ignorant of the fact that by being fair to others, even at the cost of personal harm and loss, will secure divine protection. Secure it. Secure divine protection for you. Okay. Ooh, 37 minutes. Okay. Let me get a move on this. Alright. By succumbing to the fallacy that there are times when divine law can or must be set aside. <laughs> for example, for the sake of survival. That's always the, the, that's the one right there that we always go, Oh my God, I can't be fair. I gotta survive out here. I gotta live. Okay. He sets in motion ooh, the pendulum of justice, which must in time swing back and visit its wrath upon him okay <laughs> whoo you don't want to mess with God just, just be righteous okay be righteous is better okay that's all I'm trying to say okay all right and so in terms of the spiritual council now this is the part where we're gonna really break down what Heru is Heru Kuti is Heru Hibet. Okay, also known as. Okay, so Heru Kuti, my people. Alright, let me show you the card. Heru Kuti again. Mars Energy. Divine Protector. The Divine Protector. Alright. All right, my people, now let's read this part here. I probably should have read this part first. Because this breaks it all down. Okay, Kemetic. The name, the Kemetic name is Herukuti. The Canaanite name is Kama El. And all the Canaanite names end with L, E-L. Which I've noticed a lot of... A lot of us have uh, taken on these L names, E-L, and I think L means God, God within. I guess that's what it means. I'm not positive, but I, I'm thinking. So there are a lot of us who are names something L. There's Mike L, Micah L, Mika L, Gabriel L. Lots of people with the name L, okay, at the end. And in Canaanite, Herukuti is Kama L, okay. And the Kabbalistico is Gebura, and the Yoruba is Ogun, okay. And Indush Kush is Bagalamuki, I'm probably mispronouncing that. Bagala, 
Mookie. All right. It is sphere five on the tree of life. Okay. The planet is Mars and the day is Thursday. Okay. The color is blood red and purple. As you can see, I can show this. It's red and purple in there. Okay. Blood red. Okay. Alright. And purple. The number is 11. The gems are red coral and garnet. The time of year is the sidereal full moon in Aries and in Scorpio. So, as it pertains to astrology, then Heru Kuti corresponds to Aries and to Scorpio in the comedic astrological way. Okay. And in esoteric herbalism, the baths are Rompe Saragoe, and I'm not sure that I'm pronouncing that properly, but Rompe, R-O-M-P-E, Rompe, Saragoe, S-A-R-A-G-U-E-Y, and then Holly, which is Kita Maledicion, Maldicion, and Anam. Anamu pine and vincidor. Now those are s spiritual herbs, okay, which have connection with other spiritual traditions as well. I've heard of vincidor in other traditions, you know, maybe in uh, the voodoo, voodoo of uh, well, anyway, never mind. The oils are pine and cedar wood, and the incense is pine, tobacco, and cedar wood. And the hekau, the mantras. Heka is word of power. Hekau is words of power. So heka is word, and hekau is words. Okay. So the mantras and the words of power. The spiritual is Hellring. Hellring. I'm probably mispronouncing that. And the planetary is Ong, Krang, Kring, Krong. Okay? Words of power, not words of meaning, per se. The spiritual direction is north, and the mundane direction is southeast. So, there's a whole lot that's involved with these aspects of the spirit when you really break it down okay according to this tradition the comedic tradition okay and other African and black traditions of those ancient times okay all of this is something that's been brought forth over thousands of years of studying and watching and looking at things and going into uh, meditation and learning, you know. It's not something that just came about lots and lots of energy of different sages have gone into the development of this tradition, okay. And the more people learn, the more people go inward doing the meditation to learn these things, you find that there's a lot of similarities, okay, because it's the spiritual truth. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the truth, okay, so people come to it, it it'd be the same thing, it'd be, of course they come to it through their own culture, so they have different words, okay, because they speak different languages, but it'd be the same thing, okay. That's one thing that people have a very, very hard time with. <laughs> Okay, very, very hard time. That's why there's so many uh, wars in the name of God. People be kicking ass in God's name, so they think. Okay. <laughs> Fighting wars of all kinds, murdering people. Because they can't move forward to understand that what they are talking about is the same thing. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Personality portfolio. Through its action on the Kaya bit, which is the animal spirit, the hot and dry energy of Mars has the following effects on the personality. Sphere 9, which is the Aset. 
aspect of the personality. Emotional traits, positive ones, are courage, manifesting as the lack of fear of bodily harm, energetic, prudent, magnanimous, forceful, enterprising, constructive, muscularly, skillful, zealous, passionate, delighted, and motivated by situations involving challenges or hard and dangerous but relatively short work. Okay, And the negative emotional traits are quarrelsome, antagonistic, pugnacious, arrogant, impetuous, rash, choleric, destructive, violent, forceful, excessive, irritable, overzealous, and excessively passionate. Inclined to tobacco, alcohol, murder, treason, cruelty, etc. The mental traits are analysis, gaining insight into things by separating them or their parts through abstract analogies. <laughs> I was just thinking, should I break this down racially speaking? No, <laughs> I'm not going there. Sorry. <laughs> But I will reread this part. Mental traits, analysis, gaining insight into things by separating them or their parts through abstract analogies. Okay, enough said. Okay, social correspondences, careers, functions, soldiers, fighters, warriors, executioners, butchers, slaughterers, hunters. People employed in dangerous undertakings, firemen, athletes, mechanics, surgeons, anal analytical theoreticians, <laughs> criminal lawyers, prosecutors, policemen, shrewd and driven business executives. Okay. The spiritual portfolio, justice, detachment, courage, external obstruction. Okay, spiritual functions. Let's remember that underlying all action is the urge to succeed, which depends on following divine law. Ma'at. Ah, yes. That's the bottom line. It ought to be. Okay, that's the bottom line of everything. It ought to be. Okay, you want to succeed, and in order to succeed, you must. Follow divine law. Okay. Our protection from all external obstructions is the domain of Herukuti. But all such obstructions are the external projections of the obstructed condition in our life force caused by our breaking of the laws of Ma'at in our dealings with others. By cutting, no pun intended, our identity off from our persons and placing it firmly in our self, the indwelling intelligence, we find, and the indwelling intelligence would be Asar, we find the strength to be just with others in all situations. Thus we receive protection from the Supreme Being. It also gives us the courage to sacrifice our lives for the well-being of others. The failure to detach our identity from our persons compromises our sense of justice and our ability to grow spiritually. All right. Should I read this? Let's see, where are we? 49 minutes, okay, why not? Okay, Herukuti slash Tehuti, the destructive side of using force, is avoided by making sure that it is guided by wisdom. Tehuti, wow, okay, that's deep. Okay, sometimes you gotta do forceful things, but you have to be wise in it. You can't just do these forceful things just, you know, with no guidance. Tehuti, okay, that higher faculty, which is number two on the Tree of Life. I'll get to that very soon. Okay, Herukuti Ma'a. Penalties cannot be justly carried out if the law, Ma'a, is not clear and fair. Herukuti Heru. 
Penalties cannot be effectively carried out or justly applied even if the law is just. When the will is ineffective due to lack of vitality or lack of men ob. Okay. Heru kuti slash het heru. The fifth sphere, heru kuti, and the seventh, which is het heru, are complementaries. The zeal and drive to achieve of the former, combined with the creative imagination and joy of the latter, work together for the achievement of the fortuna minor, minore. Such successes, and th there's a, I remember when I used to watch uh, the Hootie Mott Ra on uh, YouTube a while back when he still had his channel, he would talk about this part of fortune when he was talking about astrology which is is a part of fortune is in the chart is is there with uh the ascendant and all the other aspects i wonder if this uh, similarity with this okay let me not go into that <laughs> let me not do that okay but as you study this and you study these different things, you start seeing the correspondence, you start seeing the similarities, and that's the whole thing about it. You start learning that there are similarities with these different spiritual systems. And that's why I'm back into studying astrology once again, except this time going deeper. All right. Okay, so where was I? The zeal and drive to achieve the former combined with the creative imagination and joy of the latter works together for the achievement of the fortuna minore. Uh, such successes unfortunately are the accomplishments that conceal future traps and problems for we succeed at the expense of our spiritual development. We avail ourselves of this means of achievement when it is prescribed by the oracle. Beware of books that prescribe it as the chief way to succeed. Her Herukuti negative and Sebek negative. This is the configuration of Set, the arch minister of evil. Mm. It is the combination of the warmongering, imperialist, cruel, heartless personality traits with deception, scheming, cunning, cleverness, etc., which is something that's on fleek in this country right about now. <laughs> Set is in control right about now. For those Setian types, <laughs> not for us who are gods, okay? The key phrases, by setting to work through hard energetic effort, through zeal, drive, enterprise, initiative, through rashness, hot-headedness, arrogance, impatience, anger, violence, brutality, etc., being guided by one's sense of power over others, or the situation, the urge to move forward, to advance by being just, fair, courageous, by being confident, overconfident. Okay, those are the key phrases. The biological correspondences. Yes, biology has a part in this as well. Physiology. It is in charge of the immune system. The voluntary musculature, the elimination of toxins, through the skin, focused heat production, sexual excitement, the pathology, acute disorders, fevers, inflammations, eruptive infection disorders, wounds, especially from, from guns, knives, etc. Burns, hemorrhage, blood, skin disorders, itching, hot eczemas, poxes, etc. Ruptures, injuries, accidents, Comedic therapeutics, surgery, stimulant, tonic, aphrodisiac, resolvent, caustic, rubefacient, vesicant, Chinese medicine, pericardium slash triple heat heater system, heat and fire disease pattern, detoxify and drain fire, and enriching yin. Okay, we know about yin and yang. But pretty much that's all we know. What about them? Okay. <laughs> Coptus, not us, I'm just saying. Uh, okay. Coptus detoxifying formula, 
heart draining formula, great yin supplementation pills, etc. Summer heat disease pattern, white tiger decoction, etc. All right. When you get a Harukuti reading, you are being warned to make sure that your zealous and courageous forward drive is being guided by wise counsel to Huti, a plan, secure, knowledge of the law, Ma'at, and is being directed by Heru, a decision which has not been influenced by desires or emotions. In other words, you don't want to let your emotions rule you and then set in motion for example a man who sees his woman whatever whatever doing something then he gets all emotional he goes berserk crazy emotionally speaking and then he allows that to be the forward movement of his actions in fact his Herukuti action his Mars action kicks in and he is moving towards something horrible thing like even murder okay now I know in this society some people would say well she had it coming to her <laughs> people who think like that you know are not in control okay so you you because you see her doing something now you want to murder her is not the high higher level of weighing of ways to be okay now if you were if you allowed your Tehuti aspect of yourself, the rule, then you would come to a better conclusion, a better understanding, and you would move forward in your Martian, that Mar, I mean, yeah, that Mars action taking would go forward, but in a completely different way, okay? Not in a way with a gun in your hand to go and shoot her, but maybe in a way to create some other kind of, uh, action maybe straight to a divorce lawyer or something like that you know just something else that's smarter you know more uh something that's you use your higher consciousness to come to the conclusion of taking that martian action to take care of it okay otherwise we have people to just shoot them they get upset over something then they shoot and kill and you know and then we live in a place where where we say well that's the way it ought to be. Let's set some gun laws in, in effect so that guns don't kill people. People kill people and we have all kind of other craziness like that. And no, I'm, I'm not an NRA supporter or I'm not for or against it. Okay, don't even come at me with that. Okay, I don't even care about that stuff. Alright. I care about divine law. Alright. Alright, my people. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I care about us reaching that nirvana okay using the faculties of reasoning and all other faculties on the higher level in which God has given us the ability to do not becoming stuck on the lower levels or misusing your faculties because you have not arise you have not risen in your knowledge of self and your ability your understanding of what it is you're capable of capable of okay and being stuck on some low level which is not bad in and of itself but if you want to move to the higher the God state <laughs> then you have to be willing to do what it takes in order to do that okay not get stuck and be happy not be on that level well because you saw somebody cheating you a man or a woman you see okay if you're a woman you see your man cheating and so now you gotta go out and find his car and cut his tires on his car <laughs> you know that's that Martian stuff that has taken over and your higher thinking patterns have not clicked in in the least bit okay there are other ways that you can handle these kinds of situations <laughs> Yes, my people, <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> and thank you all for watching this video. It's almost an hour long. Let's try to make it end at the hour mark. Peace and blessings. Uh, the next one will be Ma'at. Yeah, that's the one that we are all very familiar with. We've heard more than a whole lot about Ma'at. And so let us see what this book, the Metunet, Netter has to say 
about Ma'at and how it corresponds within our spirits. All right, my people, Anna Renee, you love power. God is here at You Are Leaders. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And be ready. Press the bell so that you can be notified when a new video comes. Peace.